Let's look at a practical example on how do you find out the sum of an arithmetic progression. Sum of an arithmetic progression. Find the sum of the following series. 13, 15, 17, 19, so on until 201. Now, uh, in the previous video, I explained to you that the sum of an arithmetic progression can be written as n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Right? In this case, what is the value of a that you have? What is a actually? a is nothing but the first term of the series. Right? So it is 13. What is d? d is the common difference. So that I can find out by subtracting 13 from 15 and I get 2 as the answer right so basically what I have done here is I've got this 2 times a a is 13 so I get 26 over here plus n minus 1 times d which is 2 but the thing is I don't know what is the value of n over here right in both these situations I need to find out what is the value of n over here right or how many terms are there in this arithmetic progression n is the number of terms right but I know the last term right and we know that the nth term is what nth term can be found out by a plus n minus 1 times d right or in other words 201 is equal to 13 plus n minus 1 times 2 if you solve this for the value of n what do you get you get 2n minus 2 plus 13 is equal to 201. 13 minus 2 gives you 11. 11 when it goes to the other side, we'll just write it here and knock these off, gives us 190 or in other words n is equal to 190 by 2 which is 95. Right? So we can say that the value of this equation now stands at 95 by 2 plus 26 plus 95 minus 1 gives you 94, 94 into 2 gives you 190. Actually it's not 198, no, let me just erase this. It's 188, right? 188 plus 26 gives you 214. 214 divided by 2 gives you 107 so the sum is 95 into 107 which is 10165 and that's your answer. The other way you could have done this is by using the second formula where we know that s is equal to n by 2 a plus l. Once you had found out the value of n you could have simply done it like this 95 divided by 2 what is the value of a 13 plus l is how much 201 right in other words 214 divide by 2 107 so you get 95 times 107 which is 10165 and that's your answer which is also by the way the same thing that you have over here so in order to find the sum of the arithmetic progression again there are three things that you need to know you need to know the first term you need to know the last term and you need to find out how many terms are there in the arithmetic progression.